welcome back. We're on our way up the pass here uh, on a scenic route. Uh, hope you enjoy the ride. We're going right up into the mountains. Uh, I'm going to climb the highest peak in this area. the mountains. Uh, I was speaking to a guy in the shop the other day and he said oh you want to go and check out the top of this hill it's got massive quartz veins and boulders up there so I thought yeah I'll go and check that out so that's what I'm doing today I'm going to check check it out and it's the highest point around this area so I doubt you know it's not usually a good place for gold at the highest hill or mountain so we usually lower down isn't it but uh, we're going to go and have a look anyway and then I can point out a bit few areas in this uh, vicinity that gold does occur from high up in the air. Panning yesterday, got got a nice few specks of gold. I was so engrossed with the panning, etc. I didn't do much filming. So today I've got up to top of the mountains and give you a view of the area and give away all the gold locations. So look out this video, I'll show you where the gold is. So I'm just gonna throw in the odd pan clips of me panning yesterday, a few second clips of which specks and flakes I got and you just get to see a bit of gold and a bit of scenery. So we're going up to the highest peak around here that's there and we've just come from down there. At the bottom of that valley and now we've risen up See the old bench layer where these extra couple of ponds are there. Interesting. Barren piece of quartz. I'm not sure if it's an outcrop or a boulder, but it's quite big. Got another one there. And some more up there. One poking out just up there somewhere. Yeah, I think it probably is a big vein running under the ground. With a few outcrops. Tiny little bit of orange in mineralization, oxidization of iron. And that's it, the rest is bad. I don't think they are, uh, they're not veins, they are just big boulders, of course. How they got here, must. Must have rolled down the hill out of the from up there, I suppose. A bit more rusting in this one. Huge boulder. Nothing to mind in it. <laughs> Imagine an old time of being able to just dig the outcrop out and that turns into a gold bearing vein. They had some good fun, some of them old timers, prospectors. That's quartz boulders. Cut yourself some peat here. Wonder if some quartz boulders rock down from that face. Mineralist, it looks like to me. Let's get to the top and see it. So we're at the bottom of the main peak of this land, the Mineralist Peak. It's 
there's no minerals in sight, just rocks, whatever type of rocks these are. Comment if you know what type of rocks these are, because I haven't got a clue. Hard ones. No quartz in sight. But we'll get to the peak now and have a look at the view. Now we're up at the peak, I'll point out a couple of interesting places where areas were mined for gold and silver. So this hill was full of silver, supplied King Charles I with his war effort to fight Cromwell. And then we've got another gold mine just over here, you can read up about that if you know where to look. And then as we look up that way, the gold belt begins. So we're going to go back to yesterday in a minute and uh, have a look how I got on yesterday. Meanwhile... First couple of scoops off this bedrock ledge. I just come out of that little well where that was covered in gravel bar before. Let's suck the rest of that out now. Meanwhile. So as we continue to pan around to the north here, in the distance we can see the big gold belt. And no one's allowed to go anymore. Such a shame. <laughs> so here I've found a properly packed boil hole it took me ages just to get that rock out so tightly packed and this material has been here for some time so wish me luck I should get something good out of this so I've cleaned out the bulk of that and just did the pan and a couple of specs uh, I'm gonna have a proper wash that out and scrape that little crack down the side and see if there's any more I'm going to look for a crevice next, I think. So now I've filled that boil hole with uh, water that I just cleaned out. And I'm using it as a rock washer now for this boil hole up here. So I'm pulling as I'm pulling the stones out, just washing the stones in the boil hole below. And then I'll clear out that boil hole at the end, see if there's anything stuck to the stones. So I've been had a couple of stones packed, and this is a really packed good sized boil hole it took me like over probably nearly an hour just to move two stones out of it I've just moved this big one you see how black it is underneath it's a good sign that it's been there a long time and you can see the material is really hard packed you've got to pick at it so I'm hoping for something good out the bottom of this we'll see in a minute should should get to the bottom of it a lot quicker now I've got that big meanwhile So that was a couple of clips of different gold bearing locations. Now we're back up on top of the mountain. Uh, we've had a good look round, great views. I'm going to start to make our ascent back down the hill now. As we start our descent, I can pan over and you can see the the white quartz or calcite or whatever boulders they are in the distance. But they were mineralists, but we we went to check them out and see. Look, it's funny how there's you know, several on their own over there. Yeah. It's all 
stuff to do with the turbine thing, isn't it? Found more quartz lower down the hillside. Rocky outcrops. So I couldn't resist. I did have a cheeky pan, but the water was very clean. There was no heavies. <coughs> Lost the path. This is the worst stuff to walk in these tufts. Test your ankles. Boggy and tufty. The end of our little mountain climb today. Great views of all the hills and valleys I explore around this area. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Lovely sunny day for April. Until the next one. Yeah, I suppose it's gone three. 170 years, I don't know, 100 years before it's going to stop.